Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. I was once the problem. Now what I seek to do is right my wrong and become part of the solution, man. Folks, listen, man. If you keep doing certain things, especially if it's illegal or it's wrong, sooner or later, karma going to come and bite you in the butt. Even with that, either right now was you done got away with so long, that you get cocky and you think you are above the law. You start thinking like, be like John Gotti and drive a Maserati. Today, what I'm gonna speak about no other than my man, Sean Puffy Diddy Combs. Right now is they got a report out and they raided one of his mansion out there in what? California. And they talking about human sex trafficking. Whoa. And people, y'all don't understand. They about to do the same thing they did to Epstein and R. Kelly. Puff, you better lawyer up, man. Oh, you better do like Russell Simmons and go to Bali, wherever he's at. Wherever they got a non-extradition, you know what I'm saying, treaty. You better go there. That they can't extradite you back to the United States, man. You better get all your money, all your belonging, and you better go join Russell Simmons Otherwise, you're going to be in there for a long, long time. Right now, the gig is up, man. Whatever's in the dark, eventually going to come to light. Check it out. I'll be back. At a house in Homeby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. Let's go live to Stu Mandel up in Sky Fox right now for more. Stu, what do we know? Yeah, I heard her say we're live. Copy, copy, copy. All right, there you see Sky Fox overhead of this home where, again, we are seeing Department of Homeland Security investigators making a search of this home. Now, let's go to Haley Winslow, who's live on the ground right there. Haley, what do we know? Sandra, this is going to turn into a huge scene that is going to be an all-day thing, and it involves, yes, P. Diddy. The home is actually registered to Bad Boy Films, which is a division of Bad Boy Entertainment, uh, basically his company, and the home's registered to that and to his daughter. Now, from Sky Fox, Stu up there, he got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now, we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. Now we are hearing from law enforcement sources that this involves sex trafficking but we don't yet know to what extent or the details about that. But you better believe we will be on this all day, keeping you updated with the very latest. We're now reporting live here on the scene at Holmby Hills. I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11. Okay, you had to see that clip, man. And right now, everybody and mother going to be covering this story. They going to be covering it. Because why? Because it's Sean Puffy Cone. Bad boy. Why don't you come out and play? Just because you had a label, you know what I'm saying? You had a record company that called Bad Boy, that don't mean you have to be a bad boy, man. That don't mean you have to, what? Exploit these young boys and these young girls. So right now, bro, look. Look what's about to happen, man. Everybody don't understand. If they did it to what? Epstein, guess what they're going to do? You know what I'm saying? They did it to Weinstein, guess what they're going to do? They're going to do it to Diddy, man. Look what about to happen. But here we go. Diddy, L.A. home raided by Homeland Security. The Los Angeles home of Sean Diddy Cone was raided by Homeland Security. Investigator Monday in connection with a federal sex trafficking case. Authorities say Fox 11 was first on the scene. The federal raid occurred in L.A. Lavish Humbly Hill neighborhood. And as the music mogul Miami home. Oh, and at the music mogul Miami home on Star Island. 
Earlier today, Homeland Security investigated New York executive law enforcement action as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partner. We will provide further information as it become available. The federal department say in a release statement, Sky Fox flew over Cone's home Monday afternoon and showed federal agent investigating his L.A. home. Fox 11 ground crew at the scene learned the home was registered to Bad Boy Film, a division of Bad Boy Entertainment, along with one of Combs' daughter. Sky Fox also captured image of a few people coming out the home who was subsequently detained. Homeland Security expert Hal Kempler joined Fox 11 during breaking news coverage and say there have been allegations that he had been drugging young women and that the agency is likely looking into alleged crime committed in multiple states. Kemper added some evidence that they are looking for include laptop, flash drive, and anything that will connect Cone with the allegation. In addition, he said attaining a search warrant of this magnitude require a lengthy process and that working with state and local attorney was likely required. Investigator with the Los Angeles Police Department was also at the scene and refused to comment. We will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law, say Doug Wigdahl, a lawyer for Cassie Wall Ventura, one of the Diddy other accuser, in a release statement. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Cohn responsible for his depraved conduct. Fox 11 had reached out to Diddy representative for comment. Okay, other allegations against Sean Diddy Combs. Last year, Cassandra Ventura, also known as RB singer Cassie, dropped a bondshell lawsuit in New York federal court against the bad boy movement. Combs and Ventura dated between 2005 and 2018. The lawsuit details several eyebrow raising allegations that detail years of alleged abuse. The two have settled on a settlement the very next day. Just a week later, two more women came forward and accused the hip-hop mogul of sexual abuse in a separate lawsuit. Both of these lawsuits was filed in November of 2023 on the eve of the expiration of the Adult Survivor Act, a New York law preventing victim of sexual abuse a one-year window to file civil suit against regards of the statute of limitation. The filing detail act of sexual assault, beaten, and forced drugging allegedly committed in the early 90s by Cone, then a talented director, party promoter, and rising figure in New York City hip-hop community. One of the accuser, Joe Dickinson, says she was a 19-year-old student at Syracuse University when she agreed to meet Combs at a restaurant in Harlem in 1991. After they date, Combs intentionally drug her, then brought her home and sexually assaulted her, according to the filing. Hey, listen, folks. What's in the dark eventually gonna come to light, man. And right now, like I told you, I was not there. Nobody was there. But guess what, man? It's too many people coming forward about Sean Puffy Combs. You know what? Even right now, was his name came up, being responsible for Biggie Small death, being responsible for Tupac death. You know, now all this other stuff right now is he been sexually abusing, not just email, but Mel also, man. So once again, like I told you, guess what? Is this the end? Mama used to told me it's going to happen, but she didn't tell me when. She told me it would have happened when I was much older. I wish it would have happened then. Folks, take it for somebody that know. I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs, and guess what? Crime doesn't pay. Trust me, I know. I spent 15 years in and out of that prison system. Now, all of a sudden, right now, is guess what? I go to work. You know what I'm saying? I'm a law-abiding citizen. I pay my taxes. And you know what? I don't want no problem. You couldn't beg me to commit a crime. But all these individuals that's out there, guess what? Justice, man. Justice. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. I am the real Brian Glaze Gives. If I can change, anybody can change. For more of my story, Google Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Glaze, G-L-A-Z-E, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S. One love.